Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's actually quite early in the morning. Currently it is 8.53 and it is a Saturday morning. And the reason why, I think I've covered this in an earlier video, but basically I always have to wake up this early on a Saturday because I do tutoring from 9.30 and I like waking up maybe an hour or two before so I can feel fun and fresh for the day. I'm gonna make a coffee because I've been so obsessed with coffee at the minute up to a point where it's probably kind of getting a little bit unhealthy because I can't start my day without a coffee now. Yeah, that's not too great, but I feel like it's kind of standard for a uni student, so it's fine. I only like ice drinks. Any hot drinks are disgusting in my eyes. Ooh. So I make an iced coffee. Don't worry, I use plenty of syrups. So it's literally like pudding in a glass for breakfast. It's amazing. Also guys, while I make this coffee, I'm gonna tell you the plan for this video. So this weekend, I thought I'd film both on Saturday and Sunday. I've got a pretty exciting weekend planned. I'm doing lots of things with like my housemates and then my friends outside of the house as well. So basically today, so obviously I've got tutoring to start, which I won't be filming for obvious reasons. And then, we're going to a vintage sale which I've never done in Bristol before if you've watched my previous videos from when I lived in Nottingham before I came to university I went to quite a lot of like vintage shops and vintage sales but I feel like either Bristol is lacking in that compartment or I just haven't discovered the places where you can go in Bristol for like vintage shopping and thrift shopping yet so I'm very excited to go to this sale today with my two housemates Millie and Poppy and then after that we're going to go to Starbucks and do a little bit of studying as you do and then later on tonight I'm very excited what we're going to do is we're gonna hold a big prize so we're gonna invite quite a few people around I'm gonna have some drinks and then we're gonna head on out to Thecla. Thecla in my opinion is the best basically it's a club but it's on a boat like where else would you get that then tomorrow I don't oh I was gonna say I don't really have a plan but I think I'm going to brunch tomorrow with a couple of friends then after brunch let's not lie I'm probably gonna go back to Starbucks and study a bit more so yeah that's the plan for the weekend I may have just spoiled the whole video for you but keep on watching because I'm sure some of those plans will change anyway so so far I have put coffee and boiling water into this glass I know it's not very good to put boiling water in glasses but I just like the aesthetic of having iced coffee in a glass instead of a mug. Anyway, so now I'm gonna go and get some ice. Oh my God. Basically, I'm trying to use like my um, handheld tripod to film this today. It's kind of broken. So sorry if my camera just suddenly goes like that because it keeps falling as soon as I nudge my hand a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is finish making my coffee and you'll get to see the songs I've been loving. One thing about me, one thing about, about me. No, actually, I'm not gonna do that to myself. Anyway, so um, one thing about me is that with drinks, especially coffee, mostly coffee, I will drink it instantly. Like I don't, I'm not the kind of person to just like make their drink last over like 10 minutes or so. I will literally just like now put my mouth on the straw and just drink it all. I am gonna straighten my hair in a moment, but I'm not gonna bring my coffee up with me because I know by the time I've reached the top of the stairs, it'll be gone. So anyway, I'm just gonna stand here and drink my coffee now. I've had one sip to be fair, and it was really, really nice. I do love vanilla syrup. I don't know why I've stuck with caramel for so long, although caramel definitely has a dear place in my heart vanilla is the way to go for me now okay so i'm finished with tutoring now and we're on our way to the bargain basement i think it's called was it their tiktok account that you saw the tiktok on really yeah, yeah. So i'll put their tiktok on the screen now you know doing that free promo for them so i'm hoping to find like maybe a long sleeve top either just for the day or going out what about you poppy oh uh, like a hoodie and a belt and maybe some sunglasses mills i am hunting for accessories like jacket or like a belt, sunglasses, etc. And hopefully we'll find everything. I literally don't really know what to expect, but because the event is so cheap, I feel like we might as well go. Ooh, 
Okay, so basically, Poppy and Millie have gone to Starbucks, but I came back home because I just didn't bring my study stuff to Starbucks. Like, literally, what was I thinking? So I need to pack, like, my laptop and my book and my pens and all of that kind of thing. Anyway, since I'm back, I thought I might as well show you my haul. Sorry about how pale I look right now, by the way. The sun's really bright coming through my window. Anyway, let me show you what I got. So I only got one thing, actually. But I feel like that's a pretty decent price. It was £3 for a jumper. I know I did want to get, like, joggers and that kind of thing, but, like... Like, there wasn't much of a variety there. I'm glad I went because it was definitely an experience, but pe oh my god, let me tell you actually. There were like piles of clothes and people were genuinely diving into the piles of clothes. And me, Millie and Poppy, we were a little bit like, I don't know, we were just like, we didn't want to do that. We didn't want to like climb into a pile of clothes and root through them like an animal. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so we just kind of stood back and got what we found. I think those two also got a jumper each and Poppy got a belt as well. Yeah, it's basically just one of those jumpers, which is like a half zip. It's not half zip though, it's like quarter zip. And I feel like this would look really cute layered with like necklaces and like with baggy jeans. But other than that, that's all I got. And I really need to go to Starbucks now because I'm really craving my second coffee of the day. Hopefully I can have a productive day. That's really what I'm hoping. Because obviously I'm going out tonight and I'm having brunch tomorrow and that kind of thing. I genuinely don't know how much time I'll have tomorrow to actually do work. So yeah, I'm gonna stop waffling and pack up all of my stuff. There they are. So we just sat down in Starbucks and there's actually no Wi-Fi for our laptops to connect to so we've kind of given up on the work. We might go to Tiger in a moment. Anyway, in case you're wondering what I got, I got an ice latte with vanilla syrup and oat milk. I drank it very quickly and yeah, I think now we're going to go to Tiger which is very exciting because we're hoping to find some Halloween things. Okay guys, we just had a bit of a strange experience where basically this man just went up to Poppy and was like, oh I love your bag, like I love your outfit, you look so good. And then he started asking us like where we were from originally and what we were doing here and where we were going and I thought he was filming a video so I was looking for a cameraman there literally wasn't a cameraman so yeah that was an interesting conversation with a stranger and I really hope he isn't following us now this is so exciting Tiger is really pulling through with the Halloween decor What I was going to say is because there's no Wi-Fi in Starbucks, we've come into Millie's friend's accommodation who lives really close by and hoping to use her Wi-Fi to do some work. So we're in the accommodation. For those that know Bristol well, this is called the courtrooms. It's like one of the city centre accommodations. Let me just show you the kitchen actually because we're just comparing it to ours last year and this looks a lot nicer and sleeker. It's quite hard to compare because there's less people in this flat. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the big windows. Yep, this is a little tall. Very cute. Hey guys, we're back now and I'm about to make coffee number three. I promise I'm not addicted. I actually don't normally have this many in a day, but the fact that we're going out later makes me want to like stay awake and that kind of thing. We also have these cute little like tubs from B&M in which we put coffee, tea and sugar. So they're pretty helpful. Although I think they are running a little bit low on coffee. Very excitingly, it was Millie's birthday a couple of days ago and she got a pumpkin syrup for her birthday. And she said we could use it and the milk frother, which I forgot about. But yes, so we're about to make our coffees with this syrup and hopefully I like it. I feel like I will because it's like quite autumnal and kind of fits the vibe of today. I'm gonna put like probably the equivalent of like two teaspoons in here. Don't wanna make it that strong. Ooh. Yeah, actually, let me show you what Poppy got because I feel like it looks quite exciting. Mm. So, it's like Mr. Kipling toffee apple pies. Like, how sick is that? Yeah, guys, so you know how I got a Starbucks earlier? I actually kept the cup because I feel like when you make your own coffees inside of a Starbucks cup, it just tastes so much better. So, I'm gonna prepare it in this glass but then transfer it into here and I feel like it will make a rather nice coffee. So, I'm gonna put that much water in just so that it melts whatever's in there. Okay, so I'm trying to be like a Starbucks worker here and I feel it to like the third line I did, or like second line or something I don't know if that's right now I'm gonna pour in my coffee oh by the way we couldn't find Millie's milk frother so I'm gonna have to use that at a later date anyway so I'm now gonna pour in the coffee spilt a little bit but I'll clean that up later and now it's time for the ice I'll put quite a lot of this in I think Millie said this syrup's really strong so I don't want to use loads just in case I don't like it so I'm literally gonna use like a dollar I feel like that was enough. And then I'm gonna finish this drink off with a tiny bit of cinnamon because I gotta make it very autumnal, you know? Just gonna sprinkle a bit on there. Mmm, that needs more ice. It's a little bit too warm. 
that's okay, you know. It will do, it's fine. Okay guys, basically, I'm on FaceTime to my mum, who's on my windowsill right now, and I've been playing her the trumpet. Let me just, let me just show you this bit, because I'm really proud of it, okay? Are you ready to hear this masterpiece? <laughs> I look like right now guys it's actually freezing in this house so cold but I made this a couple of days ago and I'm now just gonna heat it up in the microwave it's like pasta carrots pesto spinach and chickpeas basically so I'm gonna have this for dinner to be honest I've already eaten like half of it raw because I was just impatient not raw but like cold anyway so I'm gonna go put that in the microwave now and eat that and then I might try and do a tiny bit more work before pre's but I probably won't to be honest Okay, excuse the lighting, but it's not too good in my room at night, but basically, I just wanted to say, this is where perhaps the vlog could get a little bit messy. I'm about to go downstairs to Pree's, and there's meant to be quite a few people coming, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to be filmed tonight, but I guess you're gonna have to see. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you my outfit, so actually, I'm being really basic tonight, and literally my whole outfit is from Ooh. Urban Outfitters. I'm gonna change my necklace, because basically, this is like my favourite necklace ever. I wear it pretty much every day, and it's from Pandora. And my mum got it for me for my 18th birthday and that's exactly why I don't want to wear it to Thecla right now Instead I might wear this one. So I think I got this necklace from New Look I'm just gonna see what it looks like with this outfit. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that looks a little bit better Yeah, we're gonna take some pictures using my camera because last year I took quite a lot of pictures on my camera and they all turned out so cute because I feel like when you take photos on a digital camera Honestly, although it's worse quality than an iPhone most of the time It just has this filter that you just can't get on an iPhone and I'm just gonna let whoever wants to use my camera use it because I just want to get the best content for you guys I want to keep it real as well like I just want anyone to film a vlog if they want to on my camera hopefully I won't be too hungover tomorrow though that's the ultimate goal because I've got brunch at 11 a.m so I need to be awake for that and also I kind of wish I did a bit more work today we were gonna do work in Starbucks earlier but our laptops just didn't connect anyway that's besides the point I'm gonna go downstairs now and I'll catch you down there Not 20 not. years ago, I was having contractions with you, and I was like, amazing. And then she said, at 43 in the morning, you were born. Home by 11. Home by 11? I used to make YouTube videos when I was younger, yeah, so it's just so nice. Yeah. 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 This is YouTube channel. Make sure to like, subscribe. So it's 10.43 the following day. I'm not feeling too hungover, which is actually surprising. Like I honestly thought I would be. Anyway, I've just got ready to go to brunch with my friends. I should probably leave in a second. To give you a little rundown of last night, basically, Pre's was really good. We had like 12 people around, I think. So it was like a mini party, which was quite fun. And then we Ubered down to that club, we made a TikTok on the way. So go check that out if you haven't already. And then we arrived in the club. It was quite cool. I saw quite a few people that I knew actually, which was funny. I did lose my group quite a few times, but I managed to find them every time, which was always good. Me, Brad, and Poppy like sat in Subway for a bit. I didn't get a Subway, don't really know why I was there. Oh, also, I missed out the key moment of the night. I fell over on the harbour side. I haven't really looked at this since I woke up, but oh my god, look. And then we all came back and had a bit of Colin the Caterpillar. Oh, and then I fell asleep in Poppy's bed. So that was fun, because at 8 a.m. I woke up in her bed and like just really slowly walked back to my bed and just passed out in my bed for like an hour, and then I woke up and now I'm here. Anyway, so I really don't want to be late for this brunch because I haven't seen these girls in a while. It's going to be a good time, so I'll take you along with me, although I might film my phone because I'm not sure if I'll take my camera out with me. But yeah, I'm going to drink one more bottle of water and then I think I'll be ready to go. 
with Kika Hi. and Sarah and Kira back there and we've just had a really nice brunch and we're now going to go to a zero waste store. So I'm back from brunch now, Poppy's just in the back there. I wanted to show you what I got from Zero Waste Store. I did get some banana chips, but I ate them on the way back, so I can't show you them. But what I did get was this Italian whole wheat pasta. Past I keep saying pasta instead of pasta, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, it's like Italian whole wheat pasta. And I'm gonna use it tonight to make like my meals for the week. <gasps> oh my God. We're actually best to use the cat now, bye. Bye. So we're back at Starbucks again. This time I got a small, but wait, does it have the same amount of coffee in? Yeah. Yeah. It has the same amount of coffee in as a regular, so I might just keep getting smalls from now on. They're cheaper as well, obviously. And it's pretty cool, actually, because we have the whole of the downstairs to ourselves. And so we've each got a table <laughs> and we're gonna do some work, hopefully this time. I've brought like quite a lot of stuff with me, so I'm hoping to get it all done. I'm literally so tired for like no reason. I mean, I could probably think of why I'm tired right now. Like I feel like it's been quite a busy weekend. To be honest, this video isn't the best representation of a normal weekend for me because I don't normally do this much. In fact, we've actually planned an activity for tonight. In like two hours, we're gonna go to the cinema and watch Don't Worry Darling. I'm really excited to watch it because I've heard it's really good and it's got like Florence Pugh in who I think is a really good actress and it's also got Harry Styles in, so that should be interesting. Anyway, so we've come back from Starbucks now. I'm not gonna lie, I really struggled to motivate myself in Starbucks. Books. Luckily, I've done all of my work for tomorrow. It's just like Tuesday's work, which is really dragging. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and do whatever I need to do for Tuesday by tonight. Yeah, right now I'm just having a bit of downtime. I was gonna do a workout, but I'm actually freezing and I don't really wanna get into my workout clothes. Like I'm literally still in my coat because I'm really cold. The radiator's not on, but then like I don't want to use a ton of heating. Anyway, I'll do a workout tomorrow, so it's not the end of the world. I don't need to do one today. Sorry, I'm in a really weird mood because I'm so tired and I feel a bit like, I've been feeling a bit like negative about everything, which isn't so fun. Yeah, I said to my housemates downstairs a second ago actually that I might listen to a podcast because every time I listen to podcasts, I just feel inspired, especially like the feminist ones. I, I've been listening to this really good podcast actually. Let me get the name of it for you. Okay, the one that I definitely recommend that I've been listening to a lot at the minute is Financial Feminist. Those kind of podcasts put me in a really good mood because they make me really optimistic about the future and that kind of thing. And I've got 11 minutes left of the last episode that I was listening to, so I'll probably just listen to that now while I'm tidying my room. Yeah, it should be a good night um, and it should be quite an early night as well. Okay, I've just made it. Slight dilemma, the pan's not quite big enough, but I'm trying my best to mix it all together. guys so we just watched the film and I would give it a 6 out of 10 because I didn't fall asleep which was good because sometimes I fall asleep when I watch films but I did get a little bit confused about the storyline and things Millie what's your rating? I also give it a 6 because I wouldn't watch it again but it was okay. Cool. Matt? Rating out of 10? 5 out of 10. Ooh. And Pops what's your rating? A 6 and a half. A 6 and a half. So all round, relatively positive. Yeah. Yeah, the tickets were only six pounds, so we can't really complain. So I thought our bus was coming then. Okay, so technically I did film an outro to this video, but my finger was covering half of the camera for the entire outro and it annoyed me. So I feel like it would annoy you as well. After looking at my YouTube analytics, I realized that a lot of people that watch my videos are not actually subscribed to the channel. So if you wanna be alerted every time I post a video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. Make sure to like this video and yeah, follow my social medias and I will see you very soon with another video. Happy Halloween!